should be one of the most memorable and happy days of your life. On this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings. You stand within the charmed circle of your love, and this is as it should be. The love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, it would serve as a source of common energy, as a form, uh, as a form in which you find the strength to live your lives with courage. So from this day onward, you must come closer together than ever before, and you must love one another in sickness and in health, and for better or for worse. But at the same time, your love should give you the strength to stand apart, to seek your unique destinies, to make your special contribution to the world, which is always part of us and more than us. Uh, at this point in the uh, ceremony, we will have the first of, of two readings. Uh, Thank and you. Do you know why? Cheryl told me to. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, you know Cheryl, she did no such thing. She did not tell me that. But seriously now, Josh, do you take this woman, Cheryl, to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish her through sickness and in health, through times of happiness and travail until death do you part? Would you now state your vows? I, Josh, take you, Cheryl, to be my wife. I, Josh, take you, Cheryl, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our union and love you more each day than I did the day before. I will trust you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, loving you faithfully, through good times and difficult, 
regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. And now, Cheryl, do you take this man, Josh, to be your lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish him through sickness and in health, through periods of tranquility and travail until death do you part? Would you now state your vows? I, Cheryl, take you, Josh, Josh, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our union and love you more each day than I did the day before. I will trust you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, loving you faithfully through good times and difficult, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. I'm now going to ask them to exchange wedding rings, husband and wife. Now, that applause, of course, is, is greatly appreciated. But we still have an hour to go. What I am doing right now is um, when I met with Josh and I met with Cheryl, they wanted to include in this moment a blessing of the hands. So I say to Josh and I, and I say to Cheryl, these are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. They will work alongside yours as together you build your future. They will love you and cherish you throughout the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. They will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind and they will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you to hold your families together and they'll give you strength when you need it. And lastly, even when wrinkled in age, they will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Our second reading is in Tied Knot Together and they will be tying a triple fisherman's knot. <laughs> it represents the past that brought them together the present moment of this union and the future that they will plan together from this day forward. Although the fisherman's knot is one of the simplest knots to tie, it is also the strongest. The rope itself will break before the knot will. So they will tie a knot on each side of the rope and when they are done, they will pull each side to make one knot in the middle of the rope. I haven't looked yet. Are they succeeding yet? <laughs> they will. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Josh and Cheryl, congratulations, and, and may your, your marriage be and now those of you who are, are seated would you just please stand for a moment I, I would, uh, Josh and Cheryl you did come to me as two single people you'll now leave as a married couple united to each other by the binding contract that you've ended your cares, your worries, your pleasures and your joys you must share with each other so from me to you the best of good fortune and and may your marriage be blessed with goodness and joy. Good wine, like true love, can grow better with age. So may this be your heritage. And now, everyone here, would you join me in a spirit of joyousness, a spirit of love, a spirit of celebration, and welcome the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Barrett, who will now share their first kiss as husband and wife.
Oscar, and this is Josh Bowen.
sail away to new beginnings, distant dreams of fire. Set your course for a lifetime and follow your own star. Yeah.